What's going on you guys? Mr. Allen here and we are about to write each one of these logarithmic expressions that we have here as a single logarithm aka we are going to condense down to a single logarithm all right now we can do these in a couple steps and then once you get pretty good at it you can probably skip some of these steps that we're doing but I'm gonna do them all right now all right so first off I got to take any of these coefficients I'm gonna move them up as exponents so I'm gonna have natural log of x raised to the fourth I'm gonna keep this negative out front we're going to have natural log of y to the, well, what's 3 times 2, power to a power, exponent properties. We're going to do 3 times 2, that's going to be y to the 6th power. And then this last one here, which is a little bit scary with a fraction, scary, scary, right? We're going to bring that up. So it's 2 thirds. I'll do a little side math for you. 2 thirds times 9, right? So we'll say 9 over 1. Maybe that'll help. We can reduce these. That becomes a 3 right there, and I have 2 times 3. That is going to be 6. So I have natural log of z raised to the 6th. Now, I can put this into one single logarithm. Since there's subtraction, I know there's going to be division. So I'm going to have natural log of, and I'll put a big old parenthesis here with a fraction, right? We're going to have x to the fourth in the numerator, x raised to the fourth. I'm going to be subtracting natural log of y to the sixth, so that's going to go down to the denominator, right? Had I brought that negative up with it, it'd be a negative exponent. How do I make it positive? Bring it to the denominator. Exponent properties, bro. Exponent properties are huge. In logs all right so i got y to the sixth and then that's positive right there positive natural log of z to the sixth so that z to the sixth has to go up in the numerator there we go beautiful had there been parentheses here around this that negative would have applied here right so in a what if scenario had we had this right here then i'd have a negative right here right and that would cause this z to the sixth that guy would be down there in the denominator. That's not the situation here, but had it been, distribute, boom, that guy's down there, okay? It's a what if in the orange, okay? Beautiful. Next one, we have ourselves three in parentheses. What can I do with that, right? That looks a little weird. How about I distribute this to each, okay? So now I got three log of x minus three log of y squared plus two log of z plus log of W. Apparently, I ran out of letters when I was doing this one. I should have done W, X, Y, Z. Oh, well. All right. Now, this looks just like the other one, right? Just there's one extra. No big deal. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to move up as exponents. You know what? I'm going to do this one on the fly. You ready for this? This is going to be crazy. Log, big old, big old fraction, okay? So we have, I know this is going to be X to the third, right? And since it's addition, this positive out in front, the X to the third will go up in my numerator. Now, the next one, right? It's a negative, so it's going to go down to the denominator. We got three, we got y squared. This can become y to the sixth, and that is in my denominator. Next one, it's positive. It's going to be in the numerator, right? I got, let's see here, nothing here with the z, so it's going to be z squared. z squared will be in my numerator. And then lastly, nothing to do with that one, but it is positive. It goes in the numerator. Boom, boom, final, dope, answer here. Woo! I never really circled that one. It's okay. I'll leave it uncircled. That one was dope. All right. Last one here. Ooh, we got some numbers in our argument. That's fun, right? I act like I didn't just write this. I'm surprised. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Yes, I know. All right, so we have to move this guy. Boop. We got to move that guy. Boop. But could we do all this maybe on the fly? Let's do it. Let's, let's, you know, we got, I'm running out of room, right? So I'm gonna, okay. Log base two, and we got ourselves a fraction. That 10 is going to go in the numerator. I like that. This is positive, so it's going to go in the numerator. Um, I got to bring that exponent up whoop, with that four that's three times four is 12 so x to the 12th okay and then we have well that two needs to go up to the five that'd be five squared right so five squared five squared is 25 for those of you that want to see that right that's what i got going on right there so i'm gonna have 25 in my denom denom okay now is that my final answer no i do want to simplify this 10 and 25 situation so we're gonna have a log base 2 of 10 and 25 are both divisible by 5. That's going to be 2 left in the numerator. 2, x to the 12th. When I divide 25 by 5, I get 5. Boom. Diggity. There we go. Parentheses around the argument. Circle. Whoop. Try not to mix markers. Yep. Boom. There we go. That's awesome. A little bit of condensing, right, as a single logarithm, a.k.a. condense into one logarithm. I love it. That's beautiful. Oh, a lot of math. Logged. Some serious serious math hours there, right? I'm going to use that joke a lot here throughout this unit, so get used to it. See you later.